about it all the time, Clint. And you you want to be in control of these races and do everything you can while you have the lead. But he has that number one pit stall and will be able to, you know, to, to utilize that as, as we get to pit road. So That's a good point. Been a quiet night for Denny Hamlin, the hometown hero from nearby Chesterfield. Running fifth, uh, 4.7 seconds off the lead. Restarted seventh, so pick up a couple spots. Yeah, another thing as, you, as we look on board with, with Denny Hamlin and look at that racetrack, Clint, all the way down in front straight away, it's wet. Or it's damp, it, you know, it's a different color. The same thing, middle to the top of the racetrack. We, we were talking during the break, we would have been here for hours trying to dry every inch of this racetrack, and I can't uh, tell you how, how proud I am of everybody in the sport for going out tonight and, and racing in that damp racetrack. It was much damper than what we had at North Wilkesboro, and we're proving to ourselves that we can we can do that on an oval. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look at it. We're just past halfway. That race is official. And back in, in the day, oh, maybe even last year, we wouldn't even have started yet. Well, Hamlin with the Toyota owner's thank you cam. I mean, and not only did we race 30 laps, but we did it incident free. And again, that's a tribute to Goodyear, to the mechanics on all these teams, and of course, to the drivers. Well, the other thing, how many, we heard all those crew chiefs weren't in the drivers. Now these slicks won't have near as much grip as those <laughs> rain tires. I'd have never thought that. It's a crazy world we live in, Clint, but that is uh, definitely the fact. Uh, the, the rain tires, especially when the track dry, they have more grip than, than the slick tires. and. And that is a much different feel than, than what you have on the slick tires. You have that, that move around uh, with the grooves in the tread. The tire moves around a lot. The car uh, moves around a lot to, to try to gain that lateral grip. And when you put those slicks on, it feels like you're back on bricks. And, and the tires have grip, and that's just not what you, what you started uh, the race with and, and being used to. Well, here's Alex Bowman, who was on the one-stop strategy for the 160 lap stage two, like Kyle Larson, but was a little further back on the field, stayed out under the caution, did not stop to, to get back on the lead lap. Here he falls a lap down to Martin Truex. That's a bummer for him and his team. I mean, literally a top five car, one untimely caution when Kyle Busch slid up and got into the wall. Well, only, well out. only three to go right here, Clinton. So same thing that we just talked about with the previous lap car, Alex Bowman, wants to hold Martin Truex up as much as he can and not lap the guy in front of him. And if he can stay on the lead lap right here, that is such an in, uh, a impactful moment. I think he'll be fine. He'll get the free pass at the end of the stage. Keep, keep going. You yeah. know that. Well, yeah. what, what he's saying is he won't have to start at the tail end of the longest line yes. or the lucky dogs. Yes. So he wants to not be the. He wants to not be the lucky dog. He wants to be on the lead lap when he gets to the line, so he doesn't. He can pit like normal and not have to start at the back. And he just might be able to do it right here. He's trying. Hold him down. Hold him tight. Final lap, stage two. Here they come to the line. Bowman with a head of steam on the outside. Ah, that was so close. I don't think Truex yeah. I <laughs> think Truex was ahead of him, but barely. NASCAR will review that. He knows how strong that car is. He, he can get him a lap down. I'm going for absolutely. it. Absolutely. You yep. want to pin you want to pin him a lap down. 